want to give a special thanks to Mattel for sending Maria Felix and Celia Cruz to us as a gift for free. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are in our DIY Barbie dream house with our Barbie the movie inspired bed. I took a few artistic liberties. But today we are taking a look at a few Barbies. There have been a lot of drops lately and I've been slowly collecting. It's a members only Barbie signature doll from Mattel Creations. I paid $30 for this doll. She comes with mix and match fashion like other Barbie looks dolls. This doll is made to move. Oh, and she's a tall Barbie. I should have read the description. This doll has the Lena face sculpt. Hope I'm saying that right. The same one as this Barbie Lux doll. She has long black hair with bangs, lavender eyeshadow, lavender eyes. She wears a pink bodysuit with a V-neck and sleeves that balloon at the bottom. Green satin pants with pleats at the waist. They stop above the ankle and she has pink heels. Take care with the top. The Velcro might snag the material. This doll also has a doll stand, a certificate of authenticity, two plastic purses, three gold colored bracelets, a two piece yellow outfit that has an attached gold belt. This doll also comes with sunglasses and a second pair of shoes. Hmm, I wonder if a classic Barbie can fit her clothes. Okay, okay. I could come up with an excuse for why I'm about to swap these dolls. She is already on a made to move body. So no, this is not necessary. I just know me. I don't really use the tall Barbies all that much. I love her face. So I'm swapping them. It's a personal choice. Prepare the hot water. Place the doll in a plastic bag. Then I place her in a cup of hot water until the head softens and we can remove it. Place it onto the new body. Now let's see if the clothes still fit. Good, 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 good. This is Barbie Looks doll number 19. If a regular Barbie Looks doll is priced at $22, with this doll being 30, that means her extra fashion and accessories are about an $8 fashion pack. And she's not pixelated. For Hispanic Heritage Month, Mattel sent us Celia Cruz and Maria Felix. Celia Cruz, singer, performer, queen of salsa. And now a Barbie inspiring women doll. When opportunity presents itself, grab it, hold on tight and don't let go. Celia Cruz. As a young girl in Cuba, she displayed a natural talent for singing and went on to have an award-winning career spanning over 60 years. This doll comes with a certificate of authenticity, a doll stand, and a gold colored microphone. This is a curvy Barbie with blonde hair pulled up. There's a lot of product, but she has a nice face screening, silver colored jewelry, wears a red, orange, and gold dress with lace bell sleeves, ruffles at the neckline, and it's gathered at the bottom. And the shoes! This doll is articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Love the dress, love the makeup, love the brown eyes. Here is tribute collection Barbie signature Maria Felix, a famous Mexican actress who used her star power to create real change. An original woman is not one who does not imitate anyone, but one no one can imitate. Maria Felix. This doll comes with a certificate of authenticity, a doll stand that is hidden in the side of the box. It took me a minute to find it. I was a little scared I was going to destroy my box, but here it is. But it is so worth it because she is a strikingly beautiful doll. In my opinion, of course. I love her face, the cheekbones, the nose. She has dark hair with a little bit of a wave and a curl to it. The eyebrows, the beauty mark. She comes with gold earrings that are removable, a chiffon scarf around her neck, a gold dress with black tulle at the top, a little gold colored plastic brooch, black tulle in the back, 
black gloves and black heels. This doll is articulated with movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and there's a double joint at the knee. Why are you playing with my emotions like this? Just give me a complete made to move body. This made to move Barbie looks like the best match, but I am currently all out. So I'm going to try Barbie Fashionista number 194. It looks pretty close. I remove her scarf and earrings and they're ready for a little switcheroo. Here she is. Okay, it's not bad, but there is a better match. So I took the pink tie-dye body from another doll already in my collection. Sorry, but it's a perfect match. She can still fit the dress. However, it is a little more snug at the top. Let's get this doll a uniform. Speaking of dolls that need to be added to my shelf, here is the Barbie signature Christie 55th anniversary doll. In 1968, Christie made her debut as one of Barbie's best friends. Earlier this year, I bought myself the 55th anniversary doll from Mattel Creations for Mother's Day. This doll has the Simone face sculpt with brown eyes and coral lipstick, brown curly hair pulled back. She wears large gold earrings that are removable. She wears a gold colored necklace with the letter C, a gold belt with a buckle over a sheer overdress with large sleeves and gold cuffs with an orange patent leather dress underneath. She has orange strappy shoes, a certificate of authenticity letting you know this is a gold label doll and a doll stand. In the description on Mattel Creations, it says this doll has a curvy model muse body, but to go on the shelf, she needs to be made to move. Looks like Barbie Fashionista number 166 is a good match. Sorry, Madison, but I'll get you a replacement body later. While she's heating up, let's take a look at the Barbie Roots 50th anniversary doll. I paid $65 at Mattel Creations for this doll. Celebrating 50 years of adventure with Roots, founded in Toronto, Canada in 1973. This doll comes with a brown bag. It has a shoulder strap that can move. There is an opening and a logo on the front. The doll is an articulated curvy, but not made to move. I do love an occasional side eye. I like the neutral makeup. There's a little wave to her hair. She comes wearing a dark green varsity jacket with faux pockets and printed decals. The green fabric kind of reminds me of flannel. And then we have faux leather sleeves. There's a green and white stripe on the cuffs and the collar. There are faux buttons and a gray root sweatsuit underneath. She comes with socks and boots with painted details, a doll stand, and a certificate of authenticity. This is an outfit I think we can recreate with the few items we already have. Barbie style black and white varsity jacket with gray tank top and Ken sweatpants. It's kind of similar and we have real working pockets. If you really need the decals, then we can go with the jacket from that new Ken fashion pack. So there are options. And here's Christy back from the spa, fully articulated and ready for the shelf. I wouldn't say it's a perfect match, but it is very close. I was able to get her clothes back on, but that belt and those cuffs were a struggle. More Barbie the Movie dolls. Here is Ken in his Western outfit and Barbie with her inline skates. Do I have feelings about buying the same doll over and over again? Yes. Yes, I do. Do I wish they would just have fashion packs? Yes. Yes, I do. Knowing all of that, will I continue buying Barbie the Movie dolls? Yes. Yes, I will. I want the summer of Barbie to never end. Going to the movies and everyone was dressed in pink was kind of amazing. To me, anyway. Wow, this doll has some serious box hair. The Margot Robbie doll looks pretty much the same. We're just getting a new outfit. She comes with a visor, a colorful leotard, pink biker shorts, plastic yellow elbow pads, knee pads, 
skates with printed details, and wheels that turn. Her earrings are not designed to be removed, and this doll does not come with a doll stand. Western Ken does come with a doll stand, a certificate of authenticity, a white hat with a white ribbon. It is removable. He wears a black long sleeve shirt with white fringe, faux buttons in the front. It does Velcro, embroidered flowers at the top and on the collar. He has a pink scarf, wears protective plastic, black pants with a black plastic belt, a silver painted buckle and white boots. So now we have both of them in their Western looks. Wow, that was a lot of dolls. And all of them were Barbie signature dolls. I absolutely love this new face sculpt. And I'm so happy I finally took Christy out of the box. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few Barbie signature dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.